I'm Bella Edwards, and I got next. You next up, and you ain't been on sports like talk. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, you better hit him up. Look, you breaking next, and you up next. Keep the wins on hard. Rise the star on the big scene. Make them know who you are. You don't break the sweat. Don't settle for less. They put you through that test. Your resume that flex. Who got next? Who got next? SLT, ready, say go. Who got next? Who got next? Living my dreams and all your goals. Who got next? Who got next? You can ask B. Jones or head coach. Who got next? Who got next? You next up, go. Here's my vote. Chill. T Nation, what it do, fam? Welcome back to another fire episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next a platform that gives exposure to the voices of tomorrow. That's right, it is season four, the year of the Mamba. It's Mamba's only, ladies and gentlemen. It's KT and I. We are going from coast to coast, from north to south, and we're finding rising superstars, future phenoms in our communities who are doing big things and accomplishing big dreams and today this is a great moment for us the first time we saw this young lady out on the court we looked at each other said she got next y'all gotta give it up amarillo texas make some noise for one of your very own the all the class of 2025 all district all region the 510 silky smooth shooting guard who is just a, a walking bucket let's go amarillo bella Elwood. <laughs> hey, we gonna call her Bang Bang or the Bella Bang Bang Elwood because I'm telling y'all she <laughs> gonna drop the bomb on y'all this episode. All right, Bella, welcome to the show. I am your host, the Mouth of the South, B. Jones, the OG, all things Louisiana. We'll put your L's up, Mister Yeet is in the building, and I'm rocking alongside my brother from another mother, the other side of the logo. The quiet storm. Shh. All facts. No cap. The head coach, KT Kev. How you feeling today, Playboy? I'm feeling great, B. Jones. Let's turn up for Amarillo. How many times have we been to Amarillo? I don't know, man. It feels like this is maybe our first time. We, we've maybe been our first time. So if it is our first time, B. Jones, we got to show out. So let's go. Hey, but Kevin, I, I got to ask you a question. Have you, you and I both have seen this young lady play a couple of times. Do do you want smoke with her shoot, shooting against her? Do, do you want to challenge her to a three point shootout? You talking to me? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to you. I mean, I'm just saying. It, it ain't, Why would it you do that, Joe? You, you seen her play? <laughs> <laughs> so the answer is no. <laughs> yeah, hey, she a bucket, y'all. She she's one of the best shooters in the in the Texas market. All right, here we go, Bella. We like to kick every show off with the moment of. Oh. Truth. That's right. This is our version of two truths and a lie. We are about to break the ice with our superstar today. Like she is going to give us three unique facts about herself. But y'all know the deal. Y'all know the ringer. One of these facts ain't true. So Kevin and I will have exactly 60 seconds to work together as a team, deliberate, and use the process of elimination. And hopefully we can figure out which one of these facts is uh, is not the truth. Bella, give us your three facts. Um, I play the guitar. I am three states away from being to all 50, seeing all 50 states, and I played in a cast in basketball. Ooh, that's tough, man. Three states away from 50, I think that's real. That's too specific, KT. Yeah, because she's moved, yeah. and I'm pretty sure she's been going on vacation, so yeah, she's playing yeah, in most yeah. states. Yeah, and her, her mom and daddy, they, they they roll dog. So I know I know I know they'll take her everywhere. All right, so so oh playing in the cast seems a little bit different. And playing the guitar. Do she look like a guitar player to you, KT? She is yes, I mean, yes, yes. look at the hair, B Jones. She look like a guitar player to me. <laughs> like, 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 like a future country star or something like that, huh? So yeah. I, don't know, I don't know, KT, but they ain't got a lot to do I, in that Marillo. So guitar might ah But I think she played in the cast before B Jones. Do you? Cause it could, it could, but 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 realistically, you know, I'm gonna say that you're right. I'm gonna say she played in the cast. So where's it gonna be? Three states. We got we got 15 seconds left. Three states, or or playing the guitar, KT. I'm gonna go play the guitar as live. All guitar. right, let's. I'm, I'm gonna support my brother, Bella. You you do not know how to play the guitar. I do actually. Oh. <laughs> 
Kevin, I just let everybody down. We told we we guarantee to win <laughs> <laughs> on the last episode. How? Oh my goodness! Which one is the lie? You ain't been off. You ain't been to no forty-seven states. No, no. Dang. <laughs> ah, that, that, uh, you know what? I'm disappointed because I started thinking about it after I said it. Like Hawaii, Alaska. That's two. So that sucks. I've been uh, to Hawaii and Alaska, actually. Oh, you have? Mm-hmm. Well, see. So how many states are you short then? How many states are you short? Uh, of? Eleven. That's still crazy. That's mm-hmm. that's a lot of a lot of highway, a lot yeah. of uh, a lot of traveling done. All right, Bella, let's get this show started. Let's get this party kicked off the right way. We need everybody who is rocking with us right now to take your right hand, lift it up high. Come on, Bella, lift that right hand up. We need you to take that right hand, reach over your left shoulder, grab that strap, and buckle up. Click. Clack, it is time to go to work. Let's turn up the volume, turn up the noise, and the first thing we got to do is pay the bills. That's right. We call this part the SLT Trinity, where you, who are rocking with us right now, can help us to take this show to a whole nother level. Three simple things that you can do that won't cost you a penny. Number one, we need you to smash that subscribe button and become a part of the Sports Life Talk family. We're the hardest working podcast in the game, and we will prove it to you. Give us your trust. Give us your click. Give us your subscription. Number two, we need you to hit that like button as many times as you possibly can and let Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, and Elon Musk know that this show is popping like over Red Box. You hear me? We need this show to bubble all the way up to the top. And last but not least, Sharon is caring. And we, you know how you got to hit that share button. It's right there. They got a little arrow right on the screen for you. All you got to do, hit that share button and send this content to all your people so we can tell them how dope Amarillo is and this sharp shooter who will be shooting the leather off the ball over the next couple of years. Here we go. Hey, Bella. Is Amor is, is the Sandys? Kevin, what is the, I've never heard of the Sandys. Is <laughs> Sandys Nation go rock with us? Yes, <laughs> yes, it is. we are. All right, black and gold to the Super Bowl. <laughs> On the count of three, let's make some noise for your boys and do it like you're true to it. One, two, three, boo! Yeah, I love this part of the show. Welcome to the Sports Life Talk family. If you did any of those three, KT and I, we consider you family. And guess what? We don't do fans around Sports Life Talk. We don't do followers. We leave that to all those other lame podcasts. Give us your follow. No, we do family around Sports Life Talk. And Bella, I tell you, we, hey, we family in this joint. So if you yes. did any of those three, we want to show you our appreciation. Bella, what is the emoji of the show? What is your favorite emoji right now that you are using when you text your friends, your family? family and uh and your teammates um i would say that my favorite one is like with the blush on like with the blush and like the little tiny smile yeah <laughs> that's I like see- my favorite one to use <laughs> yeah I, I see it now without a lot when people give us compliments which uh i, I very rarely get them you know what i'm talking about <laughs> um, hey, hey if you if you did any of those three throw the blush with the smile emoji in the chat so kevin and i can show you how much we appreciate what we're gonna tell them kt we're gonna tell them thank you that's right. We're going to tell you thank you, and you never know. You might be the lucky one of a t-shirt. We're going to select somebody one of these days that's going to win a t-shirt, so make sure you throw that emoji Sandy Nation down in the chat, but it is time to go to work. It is our favorite part. I don't know, Kevin, this is one of my favorite because we get to crack open the brains and we get to find out how this amazing sharpshooter thinks and we're going to see what we have in common. Bella, welcome to the Sports Life Talks initiation. Hi. <laughs> All right, to initiate you into the SLT family, you got to give us your top five music artists. Um, I would say my number one is Nile Horn. And then it goes Harry Styles, and then Jonas Brothers, and then Selena Gomez, and then Bon Jovi. So why you just didn't say the whole, uh, what, what's, what's the boy's name when they was all together? Um, one Direction. One Direction. Why you just didn't say One Direction? You could have got Niles, and, uh, Niles and, and, and Harry all in one right then. Yeah, I could have, but like Niles is my really favorite right now. Hey, Niles, dope. Niles, dope. Yeah. I, I, I like it. That, that boy could go. He could go. He got a couple of bangers that I really respect. But uh, Kevin, I don't know. That's a, you. I don't know if we are gonna be jamming. I don't know if two two brothers riding down the street listening to One Direction gonna be gonna be the move. For us. <laughs> 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 what, what you? <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, what you giving her, man? What you giving her out of, out, 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 out for her for her top five? All right, Bella, we like to rank everybody's top five and the highest you can get is ten. Mm-hmm. But this this is an interesting one, B. Jones. Bella, how old are you? Seventeen. Give her seventeen, B. Jones. Seventeen the hard way. All right, so who is your favorite superhero and why? Um, I would say uh, Captain America. I really like how he's really into all like saving people, but he really doesn't have that big of a superpower. He's just like really big. Like, like, like I know what you mean. It's kind of like he got the heart. It, 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 Captain yes. America's kind of built off of heart, not strength yeah. and all that. But of course, he got the little mutant powers, but he ain't nearly as powerful as the rest of them. But yeah, he the first one on. I, I, I like that. I could dig that, KT. That's, 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 that's an all American answer. Okay, Captain America. But we got two Steve Rogers back to back. Back to back. You believe Captain America came out back to back like that? That's crazy. Dang. And they didn't give any love to Peggy Carter. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> All right, so since every good superhero needs their own theme music, what would your theme song be? Um, I would say This Is Our House by Bon Jovi. You got to sing that one. Did you sing that for us? No. Absolutely <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, I thought we would get it, B. Jones. Like she thought about it for a second. She's like, uh, no. I can't sing. Well, this this gonna be interesting on this question. Oh, then, so. She played a guitar, but you can't sing. That's that's kind of a <laughs> yeah. that's kind of a conversation. You know, that's like a combo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. give give her the next one, KJ. Let's see. How, let's see how, let's see. How she yeah, gonna say, it's gonna be interesting. So we have a running debate on this show where I want to mm-hmm. be a singer and B Jones wants to be a dancer. So we need for you to break the tie for your episode. Would you rather be a singer or a dancer? I would rather be a singer. <laughs> Because it went with the guitar, so that yeah, yeah uh, that's, that's, that's that one. better. You ain't gonna see nobody dance with a guitar, they don't even go right. Y'all <laughs> must ain't never trip. seen Justin Timberlake, he dance. <laughs> Does he play a guitar when he dances? I don't know, I don't know exactly. There <laughs> you go, Prince. Prince um, well, what's it's a bunch of people that play guitar and dance, sir. But, so Prince don't be just dance and dance like that with a guitar, B. Jones. He may twirl and stuff. Stop it, man. All right, so <laughs> what is something that basketball has taught you that you can use when you're not on the court? Um, basketball has taught me to always give it my best, no matter what the, the situation is. Like it will show it'll show me that I can be better than anyone tells me I can be. No doubt. All right, so this is probably the most important question I'm going to ask you during this initiation. Mm-hmm. B. Jones and I, we love to travel. When we travel, we got to eat. So we come down there to Amarillo to kick it with you. What's yeah. that one food spot you're going to recommend, and what is your go-to meal there? Um, I would say Tombs, and my go-to is curry. Wait a minute, Tombs? In Amarillo, y'all got curry up there in Amarillo? I thought we was going to be eating some steaks or some hamburgers or some barbecue. We, we coming up there eating some, some curry. Dude, what is so it? we eat the big Texan. No, nah, no, nah, we eating the curry. You said Tombs is on the clock. <laughs> well, so what, what, tell us about Tombs. Is it like a, a Asian spot? Is it an Indian spot? What, what, what is uh, it? It's Chinese. Okay. And, and, oh, and it, like, it's, it's a curry rice? Or is it curry noodles? What, 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 uh, curry soup? Uh, curry rice. I love curry rice, KT. I, I love curry rice. I'm, is it green or is it red or what color is it? Uh, it's kind of like orangish yellow. Yeah, yeah, good. I like it. I like. Is it spicy? Yes, definitely. I, hey, just like your shot. It's spicy. Okay, KT, let's go. I'm gonna have to get mine from somewhere else and come eat with you. I can't do spicy foods. I pass out and I never forget myself passing out in front of you. Soft, people. softish. <laughs> oh well. All right, so grab your favorite sports drink and settle in. Because today's episode is a slam dunk of adrenaline and inspiration. We're about to lift a curtain on the life of a high school athlete who's uh, redefining the game. From early morning practices to late night victories, this journey is a playbook of resilience and dedication. Get ready for a front row seat to the passion that fuels our guest's unstoppable spirit. With that said, B. Jones, please reintroduce the nation to our newest play cousin, Miss Bella Edwards. 
Bella, bang, bang, Elwood, welcome to the show. I told y'all this is a special one. Uh, this young lady won us over immediately fought, watching her play in an AAU game at that. We talking about she was lined up with some of the best players in the country. And I'm talking about top 10, top 15 players. And Bella went out there and got her buckets in. So uh, so we had to get this young lady on the show. But Bella, we super excited about having you on. And we got to tell them your story. Let's take it back to the beginning. When did you fall in love? With the game of basketball um i fell in like love i fell in love when i was eight years old like i was really in love with it as soon as i started it was like the one sport that i really loved and really wanted to continue with now uh, I'm, I'm super we, we 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 forcing bella to come out of her comfort zone a little bit now bella you ain't saying seven words around us you just always say hi give us hugs and stuff like that but you don't talk a lot I, I, are you excited about being on a show like this and, and letting the world hear you finally finally do some talking yes i am actually do, do, do you talk on the court though because you yes. seem like you quite uh, do you you be out yes. there talking though yeah. <laughs> well, we, y'all played an Australian team in uh, I don't know what tournament that was. KT, they you remember they played against the Australian team? It was at uh, Mesquite, right? Yeah, we was at Mesquite. Mm-hmm. Did, did you talk to them? Did, did, was you out yes. there? <laughs> yeah, I was kind of angry in that game. <laughs> hey, you know what? Though I'm surprised. Y'all, am, that Amarillo team was tough. I, I was not expecting for y'all to go out there and do what y'all do. And also, I wasn't expecting you. Like you are a lot taller. That, have you gotten taller since the last time we see you? Because when you hugged uh, us this past weekend, I was like, man, Bella might be creeping up on, on six feet here. I mean, have you got have you gotten tall? I sure hope so. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now now we got opportunity to see you hoop and um and and I know you 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 could do more than just shoot the shot. So tell us how would you describe your game, Bella, to somebody who who never seen you play? How would you describe what you do out there on the court? I would describe my game as like shooting it really fast as soon as I get it and I can like shoot it when someone's in my face and being a three-dimensional person too and being really uh, athletic well what's your favorite part though do you because it seems like you you trigger happy when it comes to hitting that three ball do you do you, do you find joy in that in hitting that three yes. ball <laughs> yeah I do actually so, so so what brings you more joy when you can when you can uh, get your fan when you hit a three at home and your fans go crazy or when y'all on the road and you hit a dagger three and the other crowd get real quiet you break their heart which, which one of them do you do you like the most I would say the away game <laughs> that's a that's a mom but that's an assassin right there that's a, that's a straight killer <laughs> who are some players that you you look up to to do Bella who are some players that that you emulate or you want to play like or you you, you know, you say you seeing them do what they do, and you like, let me study how they play, and I'm gonna let that that be reflective in my game. Mm-hmm. I really look up to Ginobili, but one player I do play like is like Reggie Miller because the way he shoots really fast is the same way I shoot. Yes, it is, and that is a great uh, player comp shot. You know what, Kevin? We don't we don't get too many high schoolers come on this joint say they want to play like Reggie Miller and Manu Ginobili. <laughs> now, <laughs> that's that's absolutely phenomenal. So so you you just finished the season with Amarillo and I wasn't expecting mm-hmm. this. I mean, it, it, are you guys close in the locker room? Tell us a little bit about the culture of this Amarillo team and and uh, and what you guys got accomplished this season. Um, I say our culture. It's different than anyone else's. It's just like we're a family and we'll do anything together. And we just, it's just different than anyone else. Now, now do you you guys kind of feel like the underdogs? Not a lot of people talk about you know, north of Dallas basketball. Let's just be real. Y'all up there close to the panhandle. Is mm-hmm. do you feel like that that that's that type of basketball or where you guys play at that the world should be paying more attention to what you guys are doing? I don't feel like we're an underdog. We just like we don't really look at what other people think of us. We just like play the game and see let them see how we play. And we don't care about who what everyone else says. What, what, what inspires you? Well, what, what's making Bella Edwards get up every day at the crack of dawn, go to practice, go get shots in, go to school, get out, practice, and go shoot more shots? What's making you put in all the work that you put in, Bella? What's motivating I would, you? I would say God's motivating me because he gave me this talent, so I want to use it for a purpose that will do something for God and will accomplish multiple things. Now you you traveled to 
My math may not be all that great, but for <laughs> <laughs> States, I believe you traveled to 40 of them. Um, your family shows you a tremendous amount. Of, there's not, there hasn't been a game that we've been to that your moms and your pops ain't, ain't been there rocking alongside, which how special is that to have your family along every, every step of your journey. And do you ever find yourself looking to the sideline when you're having a great game and celebrating, even when you're having a bad game to rebuild your confidence? Do you, do you ever find yourself looking for moms and pops out there in, in the crowd? Yes, I do. I always look for my mom always smiling at me when I'm doing really good. Or she'll like tell me that I need to correct something and I'll always correct it as soon as I know what I'm doing wrong. And it's just amazing how they're right there next to me on this journey with me. Do, do uh did your moms used to get some hoops? I mean it sound like they sound like they students of the game, like they know the game. I mean, did they used to play ball? Um, my mom kinda did. My dad played football. I, I saw that in your mama eye too. I saw. I, I knew she. I knew she had a couple of buckets in her. I knew she. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, are, you, are you excited about this AAU season in any yes, tournament? I am. Now, are you are you with the new team? Yes, I am. Okay, because last year you were Lex, right? Uh, no, I was with the fam. Oh, that's right. Fam first. That's right. You were with Mariah Vincent and all. That's how we saw you, uh, saw you playing. Cause that, that was a, that was a great team on the three SSB, but now you went over to Under Armour. Are you excited about playing with Texas? You shout out to coach Rich Anderson, who was a, who was a, you got next alumni as well. Are you excited about playing with Texas? You? Yes, I am. I'm really excited to play with them. That team looked tough too. We, yeah. we saw y'all play this past weekend. We were like, okay, all right, Texas, you might be able to go out, uh, go on a national scene and, and absolutely make some noise. Now, um, you're 25. I know this year they opened up the floodgates for all of the 25s. Uh, so now you're probably starting to get go through the recruitment process. How, how have you and your family, you know, talked about it? What What are you guys talking about when it comes to the recruitment process? And what are you What are you guys looking for in the school as you do these visits and as you get out there on the road and having these conversations mm -hmm. i'm really looking for how i i want to be treated like a family i want it to be like a family organization where we'll like do anything together and we'll support each other um and i would always also say that i would want to play somewhere where i will fit in and it's my style of playing now your moms and them haven't missed the game, and I I, I stand on that. Uh, you, yeah. Does that does that does that have any bearing? Like you don't want to make them go all the way to to Shamanade in Hawaii and nothing like that to try to come <laughs> see you play. I mean, so so is, is there a certain di distance that you guys are talking about, or do you want to pr probably play closer to Texas, or what? What, um, what are your thoughts about that? Um, I kind of want to go far. And they told me, they told me that they'll move. <laughs> they gonna move. They gonna move with you. Yeah. Hey, I'm telling you, hey, the Elwood's family is uh is off the chain. What are you gonna make? What are you gonna major in when you get to get to school? Uh, I want to major in sports management. Really? You, yeah. You, you want to be an agent? You want? You want? What, what you want to do with that? I want to be a college coach. Really? Yeah. Hey, I like I like that. I like that. That is what's up. Now, what what are you doing in your spare time, Bella? Um, I'm just like spending time with family. I'll be swimming in the summertime. Uh, I'll be skiing, and I'll just kind of be relaxing at the same time too. And traveling. Sound like you're traveling a lot too. You're going to all all these different states. And um, now it, for, for for those uh, Twilight junkies out there, I got to ask you this question: since, since Bella is your name, who you rooting for? The vampires or the werewolves? Oh my gosh! I haven't even watched that movie. <laughs> <laughs> because in, in one of the characters, Edward. That you know what? That's right. It's Bella and Edward. Oh my goodness! Somebody, hey, we gotta we gotta get some nil money on that case. We gotta we gotta figure <laughs> out how to way to to put that and make some money over there for 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 young Bella over here. That's crazy, Bella Edwards. Oh wow! Now, um, for, for my last question. Y'all know it's 2024. We, we coined this year the year to Mamba. And the reason we did that, because we want to pay homage to Kobe Bryant in the number 24. And uh, so so tell us your Mamba moment, Bella. What, what was that moment where you hit the big shots or you, you know, you just blacked out and you did some Mamba type stuff. You took the game over. What, what, would, what is your Mamba moment? I would say my Mamba moment is when we were playing Monterey in the regional quarterfinals. And 
we were losing by two with 2.5 seconds left in the game, well, in the third quarter. And the ball was thrown on the other side of the court, and I got the ball, and I was double teamed, and I did a step back, and I got us up by one to go into the fourth quarter. Did, did y'all win the game? Yes, we did. Really? Y'all beat Monterey? Oh, yes. my goodness. So, for those of you watching who don't know who Monterey is, they just have two top 50 players on their <laughs> team. One of them is the number one player in the class of 25. That is absolutely crazy. And I said that was going to be my last question, but I got to ask this one. How would your teammates describe you, Bella? Because you, you seem like All-American. I mean, you, you're just down to earth. You, you, you seem quiet, but, but then we watch you play and you become a, a whole different person. You know, you become Captain mm -hmm. Captain America. I do. So what? How, how would your teammates describe you, Bella? I would think they would describe me as funny and energetic and always outgoing. Like when I'm with my teammates, I'm like a different person than anyone. <laughs> That's what's up. All right, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. <laughs> Welcome to the championship rounds. This is the part of the show with KT and I. We're going to do a little bit of one on one. And Bella Elwood, sorry, Kevin, you have freaked me out. With that one. I can't even say it straight no more. And Bella Elwood is officially on the clock. All right, Bella, we, we, we teased you a little bit with singing and dancing, but now we're about to take those options and we're about to put them on steroids. All right. In okay. true championship form, we're about to go for three rounds. And in each round, both KT and I are going to give you a scenario. Now, whichever one of the hosts you select, that host gets a point and the first host to get two points or the best out of three will win this episode's game of championship rounds and the champ is here y'all know what i'm talking about hey the mouth of the <laughs> south is hey I'm, I'm 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 in charge right now i'm in charge all right here we go round number one bella it's 10 <laughs> seconds left to go in a game Major game. We are gonna say that this 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 game is going to be determining if you go to San Antonio and you guys are playing in the final four. It's ten seconds left to go on the clock. Y'all they y'all on defense. They get the ball. You break on the ball. You make this miraculous play. You get the steal. And as you are going out of bounds, you look up. One of your teammates is growing down the court. You throw the ball to them. They catch it, lay it up. The buzzer sounds, and Amara Sandy Nation makes some noise because we are on our way to San Antonio. Or, oh. in mind, you're in the semi state semifinal game. Your team gets a defensive stop. Your coach calls a play for you. You look up at yeah. the clock, and with time expiring, you knock down the game. And winning three to send your team to state. Okay. I I would rather give the ball to my teammate instead of taking the shot. Ah! Woo! That's what it get when you get good kids, Kevin. They give good answers. See, this kid, she's just a cerebral player. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry, KT. Some kids just understand they get it. It's all about the team. It ain't about making the, cl the clutch shot. All right? Mm -hmm. well, Here we go. Right? Win state, B. Jones. <laughs> I, I got him in state. <laughs> I'm going to state anyway. I got him in state. All right, here we go. Round number two. Yeah. Go ahead. Round number two. This is about media and entertainment. Okay, Bella? Not too many mm -hmm. people know what's cracking up there at Amarillo. I'm pretty sure they don't even know what a Sandy is like myself. And uh, <laughs> so for this one, I'm going to give a camera crew. And uh, we're going to film a lot of uh, a lot of coverage, a lot of footage of you in the locker room, on the bus rides, at school, in the classrooms, we, even at your house. And we're going to have you and your teammates, your coaching staff. We're going to tell the story of the 2024 Amarillo Sandy's girls basketball team. And we're going to put it all on Netflix for the world to see. Oh. All right, Bella, with mine, I want to help you get out of your comfort zone to become a, you know, more of a what not an introvert uh, what well, you know what i'm saying but mm -hmm. you get to host your own food show on tiktok we're gonna call it bella's bites where you travel <laughs> the world interview another high school players get to know more about them while eating at some of the best places in the world i kind of would actually go with uh the netflix like filming my school because I want everybody to know about Emerald High. <laughs> wow, well, oh, I know about Amarillo. We know about them. They don't know about you. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody pull out your. Y'all pull out your brooms. We go up on. We were talking about y'all in Dallas when y'all <laughs> in the playoffs. 
Here we go. Here we go. All right. For the final round, Bella, we stopped doing all the talking. We let our sneakers do the talking for us. KT and I are huge sneakerheads. As a matter of fact, we go live every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. And part of that at 8 o'clock live, I do a segment called The Drop, okay? And I talk about what new tennis is coming out, which ones you should cop, which ones you shouldn't. So with that said, we dipped in our collection and uh, we picked a pair of shoes that we thought represented you. All right, Bella? Bang, bang. Here we go. So on the count of three, we're going to get you to say, hold that sneaker. And we're going to show you the past sneakers that we curated just for you in the Amarella Sandies. OK, whichever one you select don't matter because I wore it. But we still going to have some fun with the final round. Here we go. On the count of three. You ready? Three, two, one. Hold that sneaker. The yellow ones. Definitely. Thank you for picking something of mine. Goodness. I cannot believe we had a sweep. And, and, and Amarillo, y'all, y'all need to talk to Bella. Because these right here are the, uh, the Amarillo ones. God dog it. Yeah, these are too. They just, <sighs> yeah, they just, They're brighter. Yeah. Get out of here. I should have brought, no brought mine out. I should have brought mine out. It don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> the champion in this building. Hey, Bella, we taking this joint all the way to state. You hear me? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. When we see you this next, we, we gonna see you in San Antonio. I'm gonna make sure I bring the belt. Okay. So as she okay. balling, I'm gonna have the belt. We gonna. Uh, I'm, not going to San, I'm not going to San Antonio, B. Jones. I hey, are y'all y'all playing in she balling this year? Uh, we're playing in the Austin one. Oh, okay. I ain't know about that one. So we we we, we gonna need to get your schedule so we can come hang out with you and watch you play. Oh, you know what? I, never mind. We'll see you in Brian. Wait. You know what? We we gonna find out where Texas you at. We are gonna find <laughs> out where Texas you at. We are gonna be following you around, Bella. Last question I got for you. What what are you working on in the gym? What do you want to get better on? You got a couple of years left. College coaches watching this right now. They want to know what what do you want to get better in. So what are you working on in the lab right now? I want to get better at being more consistent instead of like doing more like misses i want to be more consistent in everything i do so i can be a better player and to always have be better on defense too all american kid kt let's go yeah whatever she's dope but i'm <laughs> upset all right bella do you have any shout outs you want to give um i want to shout out to all the coaches i've had in my past years They've helped me to be a, become a better player and a better person too. And I want to especially thank my parents for always like taking me to all my tournaments and my practices and to believing in me in this journey that I am taking. All right, Bella. So this is a part of the show where you get a chance to call the person that you think should have next. Tell them, hey, I got a chance to rock with B. Jones and KT. I told them my story. Why don't you do the same thing? With that said, who you calling out? Who should have next? I would say Tatum Bell. That name is familiar. Yeah, is she, is she familiar. Bucket? Yeah, she's is, from Emerald, huh? Is she pretty good, though? Because that name yes. sounds familiar. Yeah, she committed to WT. All right, Tatum Bell, you are officially on the clock. You can let the world know that you are up next. Your ticket just got punched, and we will be reaching out to you super, super, super soon so we can get you on you. Got next in the year of the Mambo, but Bella. Elwoods, bang, bang, you got next. You are the truth, little sis. We love your energy. We love your vibe. You are doing it big in a major way. We're going to be supporting you 10 toes down no matter what you do as you take the world by storm. You are extraordinary. You are elite. You deserve a yeet. Oh, I love doing this show. Oh my goodness, I have so much fun. We hope you had a good time and enjoyed another fire episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next. This is your chance to become the MVP. That's right. If you had a great time and we need you to help us to move a mountain, we need you to help us to take this show and, and captivate the nation as we go up against the industries of Titan. They won't tell these stories, ladies and gentlemen, but KT and I will. And that's what we're here for. And we're going to stand on it. So make sure you hit that subscribe subscribe button become a part of the sports life talk family make sure you hit that like button and share 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 throw the assist she told you it was better 
to give the pass and throw the assist. So make sure you throw this assist to your family and your friends. So we can keep this show going, going strong. And if you want to check out more from Sports Life Talk, follow us at Sports Life Talk. All one word. We drop so much content. We got some new things coming your way. Bella, we might even have to I have to mic you up uh, at one of these tournaments <laughs> so we can give y'all some some great uh, unique content. So make sure you sw- following us. All three words, put them together, and you get Sports Life Talk. And if you want to be on the show, now Tatum Bell, like I said, I, I got to go back and look at it, but I think she can go. I think she can go go. And uh, so if you if you um if you want to be on the show. Go to our website, sltyougotnext.com. Click on the nominate tab. Tell us a little bit about yourself and why you feel like you got next. And KT going to reach out to you. We'll get you scheduled for an audition to be on the show. And lastly, for all my podcast junkies out there like myself who like to ride around or you like to listen to inspirational things through podcast form, you can listen to this show uh, in the audio format, going to anywhere you download your podcast and take You Got Next in the car, in the, in the classroom, in the gym, in the the weight room and keep the party going. All right, KT, let's get out of here, man. I gave up Bella's bite speed, Jones, with the Twilight theme. That was perfect. And she let hey, me but she said she wanted to be a singer. You got the singer, KT. Mm, leave me alone, bitch. <laughs> I'm talking to Bella. All right, Bella. But thank you so much for rocking with us. Whatever you need from us, please let us know and we got your back. Okay, thank you. Hey, bang, bang. Sh- show them that J. Sh- show them that show. Ah, y'all didn't know that thing was wet. <laughs> Sports Life Talk Nation, we love y'all. Stay safe, be blessed, respect each other, and love one another because together we are better. And keep dreaming big, my people, because you never know. Your story may be the next one featured on Sports Life Talks. You got next. Yeet. I knew you had next because you always working. You always grinding. You're in your bag because you're always working. Like in due time, I just, I knew you got next. Oh, you did it, huh? Crack the code. You got next, you smashing goals. You want next, you need exposure. Well, sports like talk, got the baddest show, like the baddest hut in the room. Podcast to tune into just for you to talk your shit. Talk your mushroom. You want what you eat and you should consume. Sports like talk from the late night to the afternoon, then rest repeat. Hit the like, leave a comment, or subscribe so you don't miss a beat. You got next, this is